Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's bantamweight bout between Mary and Renu or Mari and Renu versus Misha Tate. Misha the Cupcake Tate, former um, Strike Force champion, former UFC champion, making her return after like four or five years. And the most surprising thing about this fight is that Misha Tate is only 34, turning 35. You would think she's like 39 or 40. I mean, she's not like she's the youngest spring chicken, but for her to have, you know, kind of left the UFC and left the sport for a while and like saying, oh, I'm declining or it's not, the love's not there no more. You would think her, she was kind of like 35 then, so she'd be 40 now, but she was actually like 30 or even 29, maybe 30, 31. So very young, pretty much in her prime. I mean, in her prime, not pretty much, actually in her prime. Now she's coming in like with like two years left of her prime, or at least MMA prime, you know, prime fluctuates from sports like basketball. Your prime might be your late 20s. MMA prime might be this heavyweight. Your prime might be in your 40s. But for MMA, like, overall, it's like in your 30 to 35, like your MMA prime. And she's coming in like 34, about to turn 35. And like on the eighth month, but yeah. But really going on this one, because you have to get to the prediction and not worrying about the politics of it all. I feel like Mary Renew, also, let's talk about Mary Renew. Renew, I said Mary Renew. Mary and Renew is 44 years old. So she is 10 years older or maybe just nine years older. By the way, she's close to a decade, if not a decade older than her. So even though Domitra Tate's a veteran, she's the one who, who has accomplished all these things. She's actually the younger fighter by a good many years. More experience. And I think she has a better skill. I think she will win this one, but I will get to that. But let me take another side step. But all props to Mary and Renew. You, for all these people that, you know, come in late into the sport or whatnot or wherever they may come or whatever – Reason they might say, oh, I can't do this no more. I can't do this. Or it's too late for me because I'm 30, I'm 29, I'm 28, I'm 35 or whatnot. Or however, age, however old you are. Mary Renew, like, she's still, you know, she might not be the most consistent fighter. She might not be the woman dominating the sport or a staple or no big superstar. But she has been out there. She has had good wins over some solid women. And she has been able to compete with the very best of them. Even coming, you know, really coming to the UFC and coming to her own win in her 40s or even late 30s. So, don't let no age or let nothing try to hold you back, especially you like 20s, 30s. Maybe when you like 40, you like you got to worry about it. But again, if you could do it, you can do it. No matter what age you are, if you can do it, you can do it. Don't let it hold you back. So motivation right there. But the actual prediction, I feel like Mary Renew, I feel like she can have advantage on the, on the feet. She can have a, might have a, well, Misha Tate very strong. I'm going to give Misha Tate the strength advantage. But Mary Renew has definitely got that um, Ani strength. She got that Ani strength on her, but. Misha Tate wrestling is just on a different level than Renew's. Renew's Renew got some solid jiu-jitsu. But what it all comes down to it again is that with Renew, she has a lot of skills athlete where she could have been, a, I feel like, a top 10, top 5 fighter, maybe even a title challenger. But again, coming in late and then also having a bit of a laid-back mentality at times in fights or maybe just a slow starter. So she gets behind in fights or she's in a – sometimes, like, a lot of times a slow starter. A lot of times a fighter that spends too much time off her back, like trying to work on submissions instead of just working back to her feet. And she could be piecing up a chick on her feet. The chick will, you know, get a little trip take down on her or, you know, she'll slip. And the chick will come on top of her and she'll just work with submissions off her back or try to work for sweeps and work with this off her back instead of just finding the cage and standing back up and continue to pick apart the chick on the feet. Like she one of those fighters that, you know, she could win these fights, but in that right moment, what did you, where would you think in that? Or maybe, you know, you give too much into what you do in the, the gym when you have unlimited time. But when you're in a cage, you only got 15 minutes. So she kind of falls into that. And I feel like Misha Tate, like a lot of these fighters that will fight her, will use that against her. I feel like Misha Tate will be able to score takedowns. And Misha Tate like, is no slouch in BJJ either. So she could take her down, I think so, with good accuracy and without much issue. And she could definitely hold the top position and be, you know, be able to stop all submission attempts from Renew off her back and stop all um, sweeps, reversals that Renew tries to go for and be able to hold the top position, land ground and pound. I don't think it's going to be the most exciting performance for me to take coming back, but it's going to be a case of I came back and I'm on a win and I'm back and I just show that I still got it. That's going to be the thing. And I think not the most exciting fight, but a pretty clear, smart, tactical fight for by Misha Tate to get a win in her debut, knock off some cobwebs and get some a, a win and a win bonus. So in this one, I have Misha Tate via decision. 